when you start talking about singing as something that's inclusive that everyone can do the potential for it being able to really reach out and help people is massive uh, the Harmony Choir Project was not a therapy, was not a music therapy, uh, which made it uh, all the more empowering, I think, because it is all about uh, equality and inclusion. And I think our network can nurture these relationships between the medical and the, the musical side and maybe try and get people in their training, in their medical training, to work with us and see the benefits. You know, we can have the research and the practical in the same room. Singing for Health groups support the management of a range of conditions, such as respiratory conditions, dementia, Parkinson's disease, and mental health concerns. In each episode of the podcast, we will be talking to singers, singing group leaders, researchers, and medical practitioners to find out more about the benefits of singing and what Singing for Health activities are taking place all around Scotland. This first series of podcasts, funded by the Royal Society of Edinburgh, will consist of six weekly episodes and it is just one of a range of activities delivered by Scotland's Singing for Health network. Spread the word about Singing for Health. Tell your GP, tell your nurse, tell anybody who will listen that singing is a really important part of uh, healthcare and it really should be normalised. Available soon, anywhere you get your podcasts.